Are you tired of the back-breaking work digging your garden just to plant potatoes? What if I told you there was a groundbreaking method that not only stopped the digging, but also doubled your harvests? Hi, I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplified Gardening. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a revolutionary new way to grow potatoes that I've been using for the past 13 years. And it will change the way you grow potatoes forever. Say goodbye to that old shovel and hello to huge potato harvests with minimal effort. Let's dive in and change your potato growing experience. If you haven't guessed it already, that's growing in containers. And growing potatoes in containers is really straightforward. It saves you time, saves you work, saves you effort, saves you all sorts of things. And there are six factors that bear around this. Factor one. Containers warm much quicker in cooler periods like we're having now. And this is beneficial because it gets the plants off to a really quick start, allowing for a greater time for that plant to put energy into its tubers because they mature much faster. Factor two, they can be sown much earlier than traditional methods because they can be sown and they can be kept indoors in a polytunnel or a greenhouse until the weather is more favorable for them being put outside. Factor three, it's so much quicker than sowing over traditional trenching methods because you're literally just throwing these into a container and they're done. Factor four, because you're growing in a container, the root ball is contained and that allows you then to control the medium and the fertilizer to that root ball rather than the roots pushing out beyond the feeding area. Factor five, you can use areas of the garden that you wouldn't normally be able to use, such as patios and balconies and other hard standing surfaces that you wouldn't normally be growing on. And factor six, it's so much easier when it comes to harvesting because there's no more back-breaking digging those potatoes out of the ground. Not only that, you are not damaging potatoes by sticking a fork through them. You don't have to put none of that effort in. Now, when sowing your potatoes, you need just five things. And the first of those are containers. Now, I find the right size of container to use is a 30 litre or eight US gallon container and they are good for a number of reasons mainly because they hold just enough medium to get a good crop typically up to 15 pounds per container of potatoes but they are limiting the amount of medium that you need to use and fertilizer and it holds enough moisture and my tests have found that that's the ideal size. Now I use the Oakland Gardens 30 litre containers and there is a code and a link in the description below if you want to get yours. I'm still working on you guys in the US, bear with me. So the second thing we need is a growing medium and here I'm using homemade compost with coir which is mixed in for water retention and I'm using my homemade compost because I make a lot of it myself and it is much better quality than you can buy. However, if you do have to buy bagged soil at the supermarket or at the garden centers, that's not a problem, but bear in mind there isn't a cost to that. But it's an investment, guys, okay? Something that I've always been challenged on is the cost of growing in containers but you can reuse compost time and time again. As long as you've had no disease, you can just re-fertilize that compost and reusing it, or you can reuse it in other areas of the garden. And I have two videos, one on making the compost and one on reusing that compost, and I'll put those links in the description below for you. The third thing we need then is some fertilizer and I'm using two different types here, blood, fish and bone meal, which is basically uh, blood meal, fish meal, bone meal, and I buy it as a combined. And if you can't get it, then you can buy these meals separately and mix them a third quantity of each and just mix it yourself. And then I also use a pelleted organic fertilizer for potatoes and that is made by Vitax and again I'll put a link for that in the description below for you. 
And the fourth thing is mulch. And you can use pretty much anything you want to for mulch. Here I'm using a rapeseed straw mulch and uh, you can use grass clippings, you can use other straws, you could use wood chips, anything that's going to prevent the evaporation of the moisture and to protect that surface like an insulation layer from the heat above. And last but not least, we need some potatoes and I'm using some second early Charlotte potatoes here. And these are a salad cropping potato and they're fantastic. So this is what I'm using today. So just for reference, I'm currently working on building a database of all the potato varieties that people typically grow. and. There's gonna be a ton of information in that database, whether they're a first early, second early, main crop, determinate or indeterminate potato, because I know that people really struggle with that information. But there'll be a host of other information about uh, how far to plant, the depth of planting, uh, what those potatoes are good to use is in the kitchen for. So that database will be a free download for you folks. Um, as a, you know, just as a resource for you. So if you want to know about that when it comes available and you want to be able to download it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel now. Without being subscribed to the channel, you might miss the video where I tell you that that download is now available. And uh, trust me, it'll make your life so much easier when you can go find a potato variety like that and go, oh, it's a determinate or it's an indeterminate or it's a first or second early. And this has confused people right across the globe. So I've been compiling that over the last couple of months and it'll probably take me about another month to finish it. it there's a huge amount of information in there. But once it's available, I'll let you know, but you need to be subscribed to know about it. So let's show you exactly how easy it is to sow potatoes in containers and why I will never dig again to sow potatoes. Grab your container. If you can't buy these, any container of around 30 litres or eight US gallons will be adequate. These are so good because they have a ton of drainage holes. So make sure to drill plenty of drainage holes into yours. Charlotte, which is what I'm currently planting, is a second early potato or a determinate potato and therefore grows on a single level in the container. So we can maximise the yield by growing on two levels. Place one third of the container with compost and add one and a half ounces of fertiliser. Mix this in well. Place two Charlotte seed potatoes opposite each other. I always use the handles first so I know where I've planted. Next. Fill the container to just over halfway and add another one and a half ounces of feed. Place two more Charlotte seed potatoes at right angles to the first layer. Fill the container to about two inches from the top. Note, there is no need to wait for potatoes to grow in the container, then earth them up by adding compost later. This is a traditional growing technique used with trenching. Also, first early and determinates do not grow on multiple levels, so they will not push through the soil. You can simply fill the container as I have just said. The last step is to place some mulch. This helps protect the surface from the baking heat later on in the season. It retains the moisture in the container which will cut down on watering and it also insulates the potatoes in the colder part of the year. And it's as simple as that, we're done. All I have to do now is place this into my polytunnel until the weather is more favorable. And then when I'm ready, I can just take it out and put it underneath my support system and put in this little drip irrigation. And that's it now, I'm done until harvesting. It's that simple. And that's it for me, I'm done now. All the way, right the way up to harvest time because even that watering is now being taken care of automatically. That's how easy this system is. And I'll just wait now till the end of the season when the foliage has got down to around 50% yellowing. I'll come along, I'll cut all the homes at ground level, and I'll leave the potatoes in the container for a couple of weeks for the skins to harden. And then all I have to do is turn that out into a wheelbarrow, spread out that soil and harvest my potatoes. It doesn't get any easier. No back breaking, digging, putting potatoes into trenches, filling them over, hoeing them up. 
and then watering all through the season to try and keep them going and all of that rubbish. It's done in literally two minute job there and I'll have around about 10 to 15 pound of potatoes out of every single one of those buckets. And that is how I grew 450 pound of potatoes last year. And of course, the support system. Now you don't need this, but it really does make supporting that foliage and the watering of these containers much easier. And if you wanna see how I utilized this system last year and grew 450 pound of potatoes, then this is the next video that you should watch. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplified Gardening. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.